Hello, Gumtown, and today we're here with Dr. Sharon Reynolds Cook. She's a local author here in Montgomery. How you doing today, Dr. Cook? I'm doing great. Okay, thanks for being with us today. Now, you're an author of several books. You have grant writing books. You have uh, Christian-based books. You have um, just a whole a range of books. One book in particular is Wounded Spirit. Tell us a little bit about that book. That book is just a very uh, strategically written book, a very timely uh, piece at this hour because so many people had experienced church hurts and disappointments and instead of them getting out of church, we're trying to encourage them to stay faithful mm -hmm. to the Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. And even if they have to change church homes, remember that the Lord did not leave them. He will not forsake them. And that more than anything else, he wants them to overcome those challenges. Don't carry around the unnecessary baggage with them. And know that he was right there all the time, making intercession for them and wanting them to live a stronger and a healthier Christian journey. And that means that sometimes we have to join ourselves with a healthier uh, ministry. Mm -hmm. And so there's a change sometimes is welcome, but sometimes it's not necessary. We can't carry the small offenses around. We have to reposition ourselves in our thinking and we have to overcome the challenges because that's where the true battle is. It's in our hearts and minds. And when they agree, we can do all things through Christ, which strengthens us. Amen. Amen. That's good. Now about the title, Wounded Spirit, um, can you give, give us some examples of how an individual may get hurt in the church or may get their spirit wounded in the church? Give us some examples. It can be typical offenses. It can be word curses. We're all a different, with myself in, especially. All of a sudden, I did a compilation of work, a whole beret of labor, and one day I was told that I wasn't good enough mm. because of my color one day and the next day I was too fat for success. Mm -hmm. And so I, instead of taking it the wrong way, even though it offended me, I wrote an article about it. Being too fat for success, never. Mm -hmm. Because I had been places they're trying to get to. I had overcome things they're trying to get over. Mm -hmm. Amen. So it's about repositioning yourself in your heart, mind, and your spirit. Don't let these things contaminate your spirit. Will it infect your heart? Mm -hmm. You want to be, want to have your heart heart ready, mm -hmm. and you want to at all times be pleasing to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we spend our time so much pleasing people, we fail to remember at the end of the day, does He get any glory out of what we do? Mm -hmm. If He's glorified, then surely we have a free pass to the next level of blessings. Amen. Okay. And that's what the wounded spirit is truly about. All right, that's good. Now, moving on to your grant writing books, tell us a little bit more about those books. Though That particular book is a very strategic book because I met so many people along my journey that had been ripped off. Mm -hmm. um, they had hired people, consulting lines, or in whatever field they got, to, uh, got connected in, and the people did not meet their goals. Mm -hmm. And they were out of a bunch of money and still yet trying to figure it out. Mm -hmm. Well, we took the sting out of it, and we don't let them figure it out. We walk them through from start to finish about the benefits of being a not-for-profit, the gory details, all of the essentials, everything that they would need to impact change in the nonprofit world and community service. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes we, we fail to remember the process of this is to be able to uh, be an active part of community service. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, be mindful of the fact we need funds to fund our community service projects. Mm -hmm. As a result of that, we mapped it from start to finish. We now can tell them and we can show them what an abstract is. We have we offer a class that's $2.99. Okay. The book itself is only $50. Uh, they're on sale at FedEx Kinko's. They are more than welcome to pick them up. Uh, we have just a array of things, and like I said, they can't say now they don't know what a comprehensive plan of action is, and they're putting, they don't have to worry now about putting so much in other people's hands as it is that they're now empowered with some of the same knowledge. They may not be able to master a grant, mm -hmm. but they can truly say from start to finish, I now know what one is supposed to look like. What is an actual budget for an actual grant? that you pursue mm -hmm. and what kind of effect and what kind of things should it, should what kind of ingredients should be in this grant what kinds of things should we address those kinds of things we map we call it proposal mapping mm -hmm. we map it from start to finish from abstract comprehensive plan 
all the way to the end, which is your budget. And that budget is, is one of your great selling tools. And we also put in our program descriptions. We have a whole array of different uh, things that you should include, including your brochures, mm -hmm. uh, your timely pieces on your internet, mm -hmm. being able to load a website. Those kinds of things are essential. And your logos, how to create them, who to go to, all of those things are packaged in that one book. And we are just look, we look forward to them being able to not only purchase, mm -hmm. but being able to give us a praise report mm -hmm. of how they're now able to be effective in the art of grant writing. Amen. That's good. That's good. Now, how can someone contact you to get copies of your books? Um, how can they reach you? They can reach me at 334-207-5927. And they can also email me at realsharon number one at hotmail.com. Amen. Okay, that's good. Now, how long have you been um, publishing books? Oh, wow. I have been a ghostwriter since I was 19 years old. Oh. I have been a ghostwriter for uh, Trinity Broadcasting Network and now also working with Daystar Network. Mr. Lamb is just a beautiful creature, but Paul Crouch Sr. gave me a chance uh, to do some things that your average young person doesn't get to do. He chose me in my early 20s and uh, I just I can just say my journey I would take anything for mm -hmm. but Mr. Lamb has been that uh, true spiritual mm -hmm. father who added that extra dose of ingredient to make you get up and run and make you really stay stable in your love walk. I've mm -hmm. been a television uh, face now for a number of years, a radio voice for a number of years and all I can tell you is that I've had some very great people behind me. Mm -hmm. I have served with the Bishop T.D. Jakes I serve with Carlton Pearson, who is an awesome prophet of, of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. And there's so many other great names who have surrounded themselves within my ministry work. And I could, not, I could go on and on and on. And yet at the same time, they have empowered me as leaders, mm -hmm. especially Mr. Rock Parsley. That restore and repair of the breach, that's what we became as this younger generation. And whether we knew it or not, he was one of those who birthed that into the atmosphere. And so I just serenade and salute every one of them. And it's my sincere prayer that I will see them on the other side of success. Amen. Okay, that's good. And is there any final remarks that you would like to share with Gump Town today? Uh, yes, it is. I would like to thank you for the opportunity for you all being able to come and actually situate yourselves with me and repositioning, overcoming, and being more successful than ever. Again, they also can pick up a copy at FedEx Kinko's. Um, they can talk with Miss Tina or either Brother Chris out there, and trust me, they'll be more than happy to sell them a copy. Amen. All right, that's good. Well, there you have it, um, Gump Town Magazine. We're here with Dr. Cook. She's a local author. She's published Wounded Spirit, and she's published a grant writing book, and you can get that grant writing book at your local FedEx and Kinko's. You're tuning in to Gump Town TV. Stay connected.